But if there's a lot of content in the manga to just generally talk about on my channel, then I'll make a video dedicated to the manga of Tomodachi game. After carefully reading each chapter, each panel, each word of what the Tomodachi game manga had to offer, I have some things I want to talk about. Hey guys, Dark Hero Josh here, and today we're going to be talking about the manga for Tomodachi Game. Now before we get into this video, if you end up enjoying this video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and comment down below what other anime slash manga should I talk about and review next on the channel. And without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Now as most of you should know already, I made a video a few weeks ago talking about the anime for Tomodachi Game, pretty much saying that I enjoyed what the anime had to offer, and off of popular demand on my TikTok that I should read the manga ASAP. Now, I did say that if there was enough content in the manga to go over, then I'd make a separate video talking about my experience with the manga. Now, there's no doubt that there's enough content in the manga to go over, but I just didn't really know how to go about making this video, so I just put it on hold and made other videos on other anime slash manga instead. So, in today's video, I'm just gonna talk about the manga in general and just see where it takes me from there. So for the manga, I started from chapter 26 because obviously that's where the anime stopped at, and honestly, the manga was a total joyride. From the introduction of the adult Tomodachi game, to the reveal of Kokorogi's true nature, everything that was happening was totally insane. The art for the manga, I wasn't expecting anything crazy, or just anything that would stand out to me personally, but as I kept my expectations low, the results were crazy high, as I caught myself amazed at almost every spread managing to match the same vibe that the story and dialogue had to offer. I already loved what the unique games had to offer from watching the anime of Tomodachi game, but the manga just took it to a whole different level, okay? With the introduction of the adult Tomodachi game, around the end of the fourth game I believe, because of the gratuitous amount of debt Makoto got from his father, and that Yuichi and the rest were willing to partake in the adult Tomodachi game in order to help Makoto clear that debt, not only making the stakes higher, but kept me in great suspense for games to come. Now the prison arc was pretty good and the gambling arc was insane, especially because of what happened at the end, but with complete honesty, my favorite arc in the series has to go to the friend's murder arc. Yeah, I know, this might be like almost everyone's favorite arc who's read the manga, but what can I say, not only were the stakes insanely high like never before, but everything that was happening in that arc was insane. From Kokoroki's reveal, to Sawaragi's arrival, to even the reveal of Taizen Shiba's son was almost unpredictable but at the same time wasn't. And that's exactly why I love this manga. All the plot twists and turns that occurred in the manga were for the most part always considered as an outcome, but due to the constant flow of the story mixed in with the other wild things that were happening in the story around the same time, made me, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other fans, not feel the need to think twice about it, making us shocked at each and every slightly considered outcome, like Kokorogi's reveal, that we never thought would have happened, came true, giving us a fat reality check. The characters were also pretty cool, and as we transition to the adult Tomodachi game, we see a lot of new faces along with some familiar ones like Kei Shinomiya that ended up being one of my favorite characters with some badass moments to boot, but if we're talking about my most favorite character in the whole series with the most badass moments, I gotta give it to my man Katagiri Yuichi. I know, pretty basic, but cut me some slack, this guy's a total beast. He always has some slick, twisted method of doing things up his sleeve. The deal with Yuichi is that he always makes it seem like he's already defeated, but in all reality, he's at the top of the leaderboard and beats the game in the process. And I'm surprised that with a constantly reused method of tricking people like this one hasn't gotten old already. For some reason, it always feels so fresh as if he hasn't used it like a billion times already. I feel like it's one of those things where on the surface it might seem like a different tactic, but the deeper you go, the more you'll understand and the more you'll see that it originates from the same method. But nonetheless, I'm still impressed how this manga managed to amaze me the more I read it. I managed to binge this manga in less than a day, but because of how every chapter had almost doubled the amount of pages a normal chapter would contain, it took me a bit longer to catch up. But nonetheless, I tried to slow down and enjoy the story for what it was worth. Now, as we come to the end of the video, I'm sorry to say, but that was pretty much all I wanted to talk about for the manga of Tomodachi game. But I did think it was a great read, and I definitely would recommend this manga to someone, and as ironic as this sounds, this series really did remind me of Classroom with the Elite. So, if you're a fan of Coat, then I definitely 
and heavily would recommend this manga for you. And with that, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and comment down below what other anime slash manga should I talk about and review next on the channel. And with that, I hope you guys have a great day and see ya.